That is clunky McClunkerville. Yeah. Lamb. You're not getting out of here alive, turtle. You decided it was a good idea to come after me. You're going to pay the penalty. Yeah! How are you still alive? My god, man. Oh, god. Bless it, as Inam would say. There's too many of these damn turtles, man. Wow. 31 damage. That was nice. Okay, you need to get moving, dude. Yes, I need you Lord. back up. <laughs> Double time, please. Faster said of a gold producing city is a regular city at first, twice the growth rate of a free town you can spam markets. Okay. can do this in one turn now, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I figured, man, there's way too many turtles. I mean, they're, they're sort of cool, but I'm not happy about how many of them show up? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm basically spamming a lot of fertile lands because I need to do that until What's-His-Face shows up. Oh, God. All right, bring him down. Zap. Okay, he's almost dead. Get back into the city, Get back into the city. I'm gonna love the rest of the interfering wizards. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> You say that, I know, with both love and affection for how much I'm certainly going to love this thing, which I clearly will not. Alright, let's see. Um, fertile lands. Oh, Yamajar. Yamajar, you need some fertile lands, sir. See you, Dragon. Warlock 2, the uh, Arvival of Gamera. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's true. Oh, God, it's like a pea shooter. Yes! Down goes Gamora. Gajiro. Also Gamora. Down goes all of these things. You rest and get your uh, get that stuff back. New unit. Oh, witch doctors. Yeah. Okay. Now, witch doctors. These are the ones that you guys were saying were pretty awesome, right? But see, now I'm paranoid because I don't want to. I don't want to do that until she offers again. So I, I need to be. That's stupid because I need to stay over a thousand. I killed the tortoise. I did it. Did so gladly. 
did so gladly. The problem is I need to stay ahead of... Hmm. That sucks. I've got to stay ahead of, basically... Where are you? Okay. Uh, I've got to stay ahead of um, this thousand point, because whenever I have no idea when she's going to ask me again for the thousand. Write your speech, Law. Stop making up bots. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So, we should be just about good to go here. Running away. Did you find enough money? Take the money, witch! Thank you, thank you. I always knew you were the greatest mage in all of the worlds. Now about the spell. I don't actually have it anymore as it was stolen from me. But I wasn't lying to you. I know where it is. The thief who stole it became a victim of my curse and his ship was sunk by a terrible sea monster. Now the spell can be found in the shipwreck and it's yours for the taking. Ugh. Are you freaking kidding me? Really? I actually already knew it. Oh, I already got a demand from, from Joker over there. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I knew that was going to happen, but I almost don't even care. As long as I manage to get done with a stupid thousand gold thing. Oh, it's off there. Okay, well. Guess we're going to be taking a trip, boys. We're going to be taking a trip. The only thing I want to make sure I do here is... You are not getting away. Die, Gojira. Don't ever come on the land again. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to have to send someone down there. That's the Kraken Nest. Is that the Kraken Nest? I hope that's the Kraken Nest. Okay. Now, I'm going to save this under... Yes. Now we're going to delete a few save files. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. I had to do all this I could I, until I got control of this game and I felt like I was locked more into place I had to I had to get rid of all this stuff delete yes delete yes <laughs> are very disappointed are deeply concerned delete yes are tremendously concerned <laughs> many are of worried. It's called Pruning Save Games with R of everybody. There we all are. Okay, cool. And R of continuing. All right. Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, um Sunday, I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a co-op stream um R of the Wary. I'm doing a um uh I'm doing a what do you call it? Um a co-op stream with Series Runner about this and uh with Divinity Original Sin and I really like it actually. What? See, this annoys me that I can't make a counter offer. Why can I not make a counter offer? <sighs> Screw off, dude. This whole time he's just like, war, 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 war. I feel like I should go through there and just destroy King Lich and take care of this whole problem. Woo! Man. 
All right, well, the good news is I pretty much took out a bunch of his troops. As still as I get there, we're doing this stuff as well, so... But anyway. All right, good times. Exit the game. Exit the game, my lord? Yes. Okay. Exit the game. Yes, we're actually going to be done uh, right now, although I am going to send you guys off on a raid. Uh, this was fun, guys. I was, uh, I was a little nervous at first about how this was all going to work out. Um, this uh, game took me a little bit of time to kind of get a handle on, and I'm not 100% convinced that I've really managed to get a handle on it yet. <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of like kind of... I feel like I'm juggling in this game, and I'm not juggling it well. But there are some cool things, I and I did get lucky with some of the stuff. And also, I saw that this big spell no one's ever seen before is Summon Rainbow Dragon. And I'm tempted to summon a Rainbow Dragon because it's a Rainbow Dragon. And make a whole army of Rainbow Dragons, and then send them into King Lich's city. And then I'm going to take the Rainbow Dragons, surround the city, and they are all at once going to start singing, um, first, We All Live in a Yellow Submarine, and then second, uh, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, and then they are going to utterly annihilate the city and wipe it from the earth. So, <laughs> that's, that's what we're looking at. Um, Alright, but this was a lot of fun, guys. I really did have a good time with it, and I hope you guys did too. Um, I am uh, going to be out of uh, commission now, as far as streaming is concerned, um, until uh, probably Monday. Um, I'm coming back, I think, sometime on Sunday night, um, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to be streaming then. So, probably in all likelihood, I'll be back at you on Monday. Um, and on Monday, we are going to be continuing the D&D &D next stream. We're going to be finishing up part one of Ghosts of Dragon Spear Castle, um, and then we're going to be moving on to um, then we're going to be moving on to Icewind Dale. We'll play that for half a session. Then the next D and D session we have, which will maybe be in a couple weeks after that, we will play Icewind Dale again for a full session, and then we'll go back to the pen and paper. So we're going to alternate basically between pen and paper and Icewind Dale. Also, Series Runner and I are going to be doing probably sometime next week uh, another session of the Divinity Original Sin stream. I'm going to be continuing Warlock Two when Warlock Two is finished. Um, then I'm going to be moving on to uh, probably Guac. Amelia will be next, and then Remember Me after that, and then after that I'm thinking maybe about doing a Legend of Zelda run, um, and I actually want to, uh, yeah, Rainbow Dragons. I do want to ask about that, actually, um, for, uh, I want to ask about that because I asked it once before, but it was just at the very beginning of the cast. I'm thinking about doing a Legend of Zelda cast run. Once I'm done with Guac, once I finish with this Warlock 2 thing, um, and then once I do, um, once I finish Guacamelee and Remember Me, and neither one of those games I think are super long, um, at that point, there'll be a little bit of a lull in sort of other new game releases and things like that that I'm super interested in. So I'm curious about whether or not people would be interested in watching. I've never actually done a full Zelda run, starting with Zelda 1 and then working all the way up. I won Zelda 1, I won Zelda 2, I won Twilight Princess, um, but I never really played Link to the Past very much, um, because I didn't have a Super Nintendo, um, and I never played uh, any of the other Zelda games, like I didn't play Phantom Hourglass or any of that stuff. So, would people be interested in a full run of Zelda, like going from the Zeldas up? Do you guys think that would be interesting to people or not? Again, this is not happening until after Guacamelee and, um, uh, and what do you call it, and uh, Remember Me. <laughs> Ironically, I couldn't remember it. Um, but what do you guys think? Yes, no? Sure. While you guys are answering that, I'm going to find who we're going to be raiding, by the way. Zelda's your favorite Nintendo franchise? Nay, I'm personally not a fan of Zelda, but it'd still come. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Like, I mean, Zelda was... Because the truth is, the most influential games of my childhood were Zelda and Ultima Underworld. So I'm thinking about it. Um, but I haven't, you know, of course, completely concluded it yet. But that's what I'm going to do. What do we got here? What? What? Really? Okay, this is funny. This is pretty funny. Okay, I know who we're going to raid. I might come, but I'm not a fan. Okay, alright, that's, that's helpful for me to know. That's good for me to know. 
Okay. Uh, all right, people. So I know who we're going to raid. Um, and uh, the way we raid, for those of you who don't know, first of all, if you like what you saw and heard, uh, then please make sure to follow. When we raid, we do it like this, um, which is, I appreciate that, guys. I was just checking in to kind of get a sense of it. Um, so uh, the Arvanauts have landed. Um, and then that Volcania icon you see at the end. Um, and uh, no, there's not going to be a giveaway tonight. I'm pretty much just about out of games to give away. Actually, Law, it's funny. I was looking at it. Um, and uh, so I'm not going to do a giveaway today anyway. Um, but uh, I was I was pretty much getting I'm, I, I ran low uh, finally after the last uh, humble bundle thing. So, um, but uh, it's been awesome uh, doing a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of giveaways. But it lasted for months and months and months and months and months. So I'm slowing down a little bit on the uh, on the giveaway front. But um, okay, so uh, I want to thank everybody for being in the stream. Um, thank you uh, to uh, Cambridge for building the bot, uh, such so as a lawkeeper for building the bot, and Cambridge for implementing it on his side in the Cambridge bot. Good to see you, uh, Cambridge, although Cambridge is not in at the moment. Definitely give that guy a follow. It was actually because of Cambridge that I thought about the Zelda stuff because he was playing it the other day. Uh, Lego Freak, always a pleasure, man. Make sure you check out Foom at some point because he's doing a big Legathon, um, Lego game thon, and I know that's what you're all about. So good to see you. Nedwin, always a pleasure, sir. I will catch you very soon. Um, good to see you as always. Good to see Series Runner who is hanging out in my chat. Always a pleasure to have, uh, and you should be following him, by the way. Always a pleasure to have the Law Keeper in here. Law, go write that speech. Thank you for your work on the bot. Now go write that speech and knock him dead. You'll do great. Agent Goblin, thanks a lot, as always, for stopping by. Always a pleasure to have Akinario in chat, too. Been a little while since I've seen you. Arcades, always a pleasure to have Arcades in chat. Of course, a pleasure to have Dragon Spear. What's up, man? Good to see Dragon Spear once again. Good to see EXE fan once again. Always a pleasure to have Fenrir in here. Thank you so much for all the tips today on Warlock Fenrir. I appreciate it. Glog, speaking of Glog, what's up, Glog? Good to see you, man. Um, welcome in. Uh, and uh, oh, you, that's right. I talked to you about the Linux thing before with Tin Man. So anyway, good to see you, man. Always a pleasure to have Gray Dibbick in here, who did some of the Warlock voiceovers. Good to see Gray. Always a pleasure to have Jedi Knight in here. A pleasure. Um, thanks for stopping by again, sir. Thanks uh, for stopping by to Joy Killer as well, who I have not seen for a while. Love Shack, always a pleasure to have Love in here. Good to see you. Always a pleasure to have Philly in here as well. Philly, I will catch you soon. Um, Rep Scallion, always a pleasure to have Rap in here. Good to see you again, Rap. Um, hope all's well. Royks, hope all's well with you too, sir. I'll be talking to you at some point relatively soon, I imagine. Shay, I have not seen Shay in here for a long time. Good to see you again, Shay. And Chiantocraft, I have not seen Chiantocraft for a little while also, so good to see you. Saad, a member of the Infinity and Beyond crew, and you should also definitely be checking out uh, Saad, uh, because Saad is a good streamer, so you should definitely be following him. Always a pleasure to have TNS Mephiston um, in chat. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Sundare, always a pleasure, Sundare. A Sundare. There you go, Sundare. I gave you the extra. You know, you're, you're last but certainly not least. So welcome back, uh, Sundare. Good to see you, man. Uncle Stalin. Always a pleasure to have Uncle Stalin in chat. Something I can only say on Twitch. Always a pleasure to have Uncle Stalin. <laughs> only on Twitch does that work. Wasabi, thanks a lot, man, as always, for the uh, the liberal use of well-targeted emotes and, and the funny. Good to see you, Wasabi. And, of course, Wyval. Always a pleasure to have Wyval in chat as well. All right, people. Now, we're going to do this a little bit differently because I want to I wanna set this up as here. So, you guys know the way we do the normal raid, right? Which is this. Oh, yeah. Which is that. Yes. Which is an exclamation point. No. So, you guys know we normally do it like this. I would like this to be done a little differently, which is to do that, but instead you go... Uh, let's see. Okay, if you guys could do that, just cut and paste that for me over here, because Series Runner is playing solo Divinity Original Sin. Now, I did not know that solo was an option for Divinity Original Sin, so we're going to go to Series and we're going to say, the Arvanauts have landed in the chat of the Betrayer who's streaming a game he was supposed to be co-oping. We're going to find out why that's the case. All right. So go hit up series. Love you all. Uh, I'm off to DC now. I will catch you all in uh, about five days. I'll see you maybe Sunday night, but definitely on Monday. Love you all. Lawkeeper, go write that speech. Uh, thanks all for watching, and I will catch you all soon. Have a good one.